Hi there and welcome to this two minute tips video and in this video we're going to be looking at focus mode and in particular focus mode for photography so still images. So this is one of a sub-series of videos we're doing under the Two Minute Tips um, series where we're looking at different aspects of the focus system in the Z series cameras. In this video we're going to look at focus mode and in particular for still images or photo mode um, and this is really the style of focus that you're going to be using and in the Z series there are three options. There is AFS, which is autofocus single. There is AFC, which is autofocus continuous. And there is, of course, manual focus. To move between the different modes, you can, of course, program your I button to be able to have it as one of the options. You can also press the function two button, which is the lower of the two function buttons on the front, and then turn the thumb dial at the back to move between them. And of course on a lot of lenses, particularly the Nikkor lenses, you've got the AM switch there to override from auto to manual. So if you're in one of the autofocus modes and it's not operating as you think it should be, check that button. Sometimes you may have nudged it and it will have overridden it. So let's start with AFS or single shot autofocus. And this is activated, um, depending how you've got your camera set up, either by half depressing the shutter button or pressing the AF on button on the back. And what happens here is that the camera will try and focus on the focus point you selected or the area you've selected. And in AFS, if the camera um, achieves a focus, it captures focus, the box around the point you select will go from red to green. If the camera can't capture focus in the area you've asked it to, then the red boundary box will flash slowly. Another setting that's relevant to this is the AFS priority selection. And if you go to the custom settings menu and go to option A2, you have two options. You have release priority or you have focus priority. The default is focus priority and what this means is the camera, if you press the shutter button down and it hasn't already captured focus, it won't release the shutter. If you have it set to release priority, the camera will release the shutter whether it's in focus or not. As I say, the default is focus priority, so in AFS you can't take a shot without the camera having captured focus. In this mode, you can also select low light AF. We've covered that in a separate video. It does give you a better performance in low light situations. However, it can slow down the focusing, although I didn't notice a massive difference myself. AFS is the mode I used to use with my D850, my D800, where perhaps the focus points were, ca were more in the center of the um, sensor. And quite often I had to select um, a, a subject, focus on it and recompose. With the Z series is almost edge to edge coverage of autofocus points across the sensor. It's meant I've had to challenge the way I use autofocus and I'm now finding I'm using AFC or continuous autofocus a lot more. So let's take a look at AFC. Now with AFC, whereas with AFS when the camera captured um, focus, the boundary around the focus area went from red to green. You won't notice any change when you're in AFC mode. The red um, boundary remains red. It doesn't flash if it doesn't capture focus. It doesn't go green when it does. Um, so that's a bit of a difference. And what you'll find is that when you either half depress the shutter or you press the AF on button on the back, the camera will continuously autofocus even if you move the camera. You'll probably hear the focus motor in your lens moving in an almost constant manner which shows you how much the camera is refocusing as you very move even the, the smallest of um, difference. Now whilst AFS is much better for static subjects, AFC is really good for subjects that are moving and what you'll find is the camera is quite predictive that if a subject it sees the subject is moving then it will predict where the subject will be and the focus that's required to capture it and I'm finding it's pretty good at that. 
I tested it with some birds of prey that were just flying around the other week and it was pretty good at capturing a pretty fast moving bird of prey coming down to pick up some food. Whereas in AFS mode the um, priority selection was by default focus priority. With AFC the default setting which again is in the custom settings menu but this time option A1 is set by default to release priority. And finally we've got manual focus MF where you use the focus ring on the lens to focus manually rather than using the camera's inbuilt autofocus. And here there's quite a bit of functionality built into the camera to help you really nail the focus even when you're doing it manually. Um, perhaps at night when you're doing astrophotography or when you've got a very static subject, uh, perhaps a macro subject where you really want to focus it precisely yourself. And therefore using things like focus peaking can be really useful. Obviously in parallel with thinking about which focus mode you're going to be using, you've got to think about what shutter release mode you're using. Are you going to use a single shutter release or are you going to use one of the continuous ones, either low or high um, speed continuous shutter release? If for example you're using AFS and you've got a static subject, sometimes it's best just to use a single shutter release to reduce perhaps the vibration. If you, however, you're using AFC and you've got moving subjects, actually you may want to have it set to continuous shutter release, either at the low burst rate or the high burst rate. So you've got to think about all the settings in a holistic way. So in this video we've covered the photography related focus modes. Um, in another video we'll cover the more dynamic um, focus modes and we'll cover the ones that are most useful for video as well. I hope you found this video useful. I hope it started to demystify some of the complex layered approach to focusing in the Z series cameras. If you did hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell. Let me know in the comments below how you're getting on with the focus on the Z series camera and I look forward to seeing you in a future video.